Okay, so here we are out on the Broadwater again. Target species today is squid. Uh, we might as well catch them while they're here. So at the end of this, this video, I'm gonna show you how I catch them, uh, the rigs that I use, what scent I use on the lures. I'm gonna show you the two different techniques I use to make sure that I cover all the um, options as far as the squid bite goes. Uh, we went out the other day outside fishing and it was a bit rough I did film it uh, there was a beautiful sunrise I'll flip to that right now as I'm speaking it was a beautiful sunrise and we got a fair few fish but I couldn't do a full video on it because it was so rough out there the camera was just rolling around even with the stabilization settings on the on the GoPro it was rolling around like nothing else so I couldn't get any good fit footage because I didn't want to make you guys seasick at home watching the videos so uh, we did get a feed uh, hopefully you've seen those clips now as I'm as I'm talking but uh, it was hard earned and I was pretty sore for the next few days after that so if it looks rough on GoPro then it's really really rough so uh, we're back in the broader water today we'll catch some squid and I'll run you through everything I'll also do a quick cook up this afternoon if we get anything I'll, I'll do a quick cook up this afternoon and I'll show you the best way to cook these because squid can get pretty tough if you if you cook them too long and they're a bit gross if you if you undercook them as well. So I'll uh, I'll show you how I like to cook them and what I coat them in and and the best method for for you know, making these little weird critters taste just amazing. Uh, so let's get fishing. We've got a incoming tide uh, on the sounder. I can see there's heaps of bait underneath us now. It's probably a big school of tailor by the looks of things. So we'll get the the gear down and then we'll run and then we'll run through uh, what I'm using at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. I've got heaps of videos coming out, so I'd love for you guys to come along for the journey with me. All right. So let's do this. Let's get some squid in the boat and feed our bellies this afternoon with a nice feed of arrow squid from the Broadwater. Yep, squid on, on the jig. Is he still there? Yep, he's still there. Good news, good start. That's literally been five minutes. Oh, he's a good one too. literally been, I've had this rod in the water 30 seconds, so this is a good start to the day. Nice squid. He's a good size one too. Check that out. Another squid. This is a big squid too. Oh, he let go, no. Oh, he's back on again. Back on again. Oh, he's dropped it again. He's hooked for good this time.
Yep, squid on. Good squid. Tell you what, they're thick today. They're thick today. Here's a big one, too. He just squirted the boat. <laughs> It'll be black on the side now. All right, so here's a good size one. Check this guy out. Look at the size of him. He's huge. That's cool. And that's on, I normally use a white squid jig, but that's on a redhead today, which is pretty cool. I think it might be a, a Yamashita um, 2.5 gram redhead. Nice fish. This is a better fish. So that might be a flounder. Good fish. This is a really, really good fish. I've oh, got no idea what it is. Ah, it's a damn stingray. <laughs> Okay. Okay, well that's a species I've never caught on the ZX40s before. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm just throwing up there. Get this boat out of the channel and then we'll get a good look at him.
Okay, so let's get the hooks out of this guy. Try not to get whacked by his barb. by his barb. And then I'll get these hooks out. Gosh, they're catchy, these little hooks. goes that's pretty cool all right it's not a bad squid session we end up with about six six or seven squid all up for just floating around the broad water and just bobbing some jigs around and and popping some eco gears now I'm not going to be able to film the catch and cook because I ended up eating the squid that night and it's been a couple of days since I've been out that I'm filming this part of the video so unfortunately we're gonna to have to save that for another video but one really cool thing that has happened is over the last few days we've hit a thousand subscribers which is pretty monumental considering that I didn't think we'd ever hit a thousand subscribers so as a thousand subscriber special what I'm gonna do is to one lucky subscriber I'm gonna send out my very own squid pack so the the squid jigs that i use the eco gear zx40 and the scent that i use on my lures to attract the fish and the squid also so one lucky lucky subscriber is going to get that all i need you to do to qualify for to go into the running for the squid pack is to leave a comment in the comments below and be subscribed and i'll choose my favorite comment and i'll send you out the squid pack now as far as the, the, the outfits that I use to catch, and I did mention in the start of this video that I was gonna run through that with you, the, the uh, lures that I use to catch the squid, I have addressed them briefly in other videos, but I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail in this video, just in case you're going out fishing for squid this weekend and you wanna know exactly what to buy. Um, I mostly use white squid jigs or any of the Lumo squid jigs because when I fish, um, sometimes when we're in the deep water, it's quite dark down there. So I like the ones that glow a little bit so they're a bit easier for the squid to see. I use a, a, three, a three gram or a 2.5 gram depending on how fast the current's going. Uh, so I'll, I'll start with a 2.5 gram because the squid tend to like the smaller jigs a little bit better. Uh, and then if, it's, if the current's flowing too hard, then I'll move up to a three gram. Okay, so the white colors tend to do the best for me. Not saying that any of the other colors don't work, but I just go to the white colors because they tend to work best for me. Now, uh, the, other, the, other, the other lure that I use for squid is the EcoGear ZX40. And that's also included in the squid pack that uh, one lucky subscriber is gonna get. But I use this and I manually pop this off the bottom while I've got the squid jig out floating around, um, acting as a second person in the boat. And this keeps me active and this also keeps, as you, as you saw on the video, we catch other species while we're fishing for squid, we catch other species on this as well. So it's like fishing for both, like, like having a prawn or something like that. It allows me to catch other fish other than just squid. And if the squid are there, the squid jump on there quite willingly. Um, as far as the, the rod setup goes, I just use uh, the lightest rod possible. So this is the rod that I use for um, throwing lures, or catching flathead on the flats. I use this rod for just about everything. Um, the key, the key to catching squid is 
using fluorocarbon leader and a, and a long length of it. So you need at least two meters of fluorocarbon leader attached to your lure. Uh, the reason for that is because the squid have got super, super good ice, eyesight. So if you're using anything other, and I've, I've trialed this and I've used different leaders, I've used mono leader, I've used braid straight to the lures, I've tried uh, heavier fluorocarbon, but the lighter the fluorocarbon leader that you can get, the better. I generally sit at about 12 pound. It's almost invisible in the water and the squid can't see it, which makes them more willing to come and hit, hit your lure and hook up thinking that it's a, a bait fish or whatever. So the biggest tip, you can use 20 pound braid, you can use whatever you want. And this rod, because I didn't have a second estuary rod set up, I only had this rod out the other day for um, just in case Taylor showed up or anything. This is a, an outfit that I use for snapper. It's got 30 pound braid on it. But what I did was I added 12 pound leader and about two meters of 12 pound leader and I was able to catch them still with such such a big reel and and heavy line on, on as the main line. So the key to catching squid is to have super, super light leader and only use fluorocarbon because mono, they, they tend to see it and it just doesn't seem to work as well. Okay, so make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. And as I said, anybody that leaves a comment and a comment that I really like, they, they'll get selected or may get selected to uh, get their hands on my favorite uh, little pieces of squid catching gear. I wanted to thank you guys again for uh, the follows. A thousand subscribers is, is pretty amazing and I'm absolutely wrapped. So leave a comment down in the comment section and my favorite comment will get the pack sent out to them in the mail. And I'll be drawing it over the next couple of videos. So I'll see you in the next video. We'll try and get something different other than the squid in the next video. We'll go and do something a little bit different. But thanks for all your support and I'll see you in the next video.